Taking pictures of sunsets and sunrises is also a very popular topic. Now, you can decide whether you want to show real colors or you want to simulate or add some drama and make it a bit more surrealistic, your photographs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make it realistic, but still enhance these photographs. And then I'm going to show you how to make it a bit more artistic in the next video. So first of all, let's just start with this photograph. And instead of changing the temperature and tint uh, too much, I am going to focus on vibrance and clarity and also a bit on shadows, highlights, whites and blacks. So let's just see first of all vibrance. If we add a bit of vibrance, you can see that we can emphasize or enhance the colors of the sky. And what I like in this photograph is the contrast between the blue or cyan sky here on the top and the nice uh, yellow or orange uh, colors at the bottom. So if I reduce vibrance, it's not that easy to see that difference. But as soon as I increase the colors, you can see that contrast much more. Now, intentionally, I left these parts here at the bottom in the photograph. But because of the exposure, we can't really see much details. Only the silhouettes of these trees. So let me just change uh, the shadows just to show you if I want to see the details there I can add a bit more details with the shadows slider. The only problem with the shadow slider is that we are going to lose a bit of contrast in the image. So let me show you before and after. So by adding some details uh, even on the clouds we can actually see more details. We lose a little bit of the whole atmosphere in the photograph. Now let's see what happens if I move the shadows all the way to the left. You can see we will increase the contrast even more. So we will have this very nice rim light on the shadows on the top. And we will also see that contrast between the yellow and the blue colors. So let's see in the middle. This is how it was. And this is after. So we made it a bit even more artistic, but we haven't changed the colors. So we just improve the overall image by choosing or using Vibrance and the shadow sliders. Let me show you another example. Here I would like to, again, just make a little bit of changes on the image, but without adding different colors to it, to make it too obvious that we, we changed it or edited it. Um, first of all, I would like to increase the contrast a bit. So for that I'm going to use the Clarity slider. And as you can see, we can increase, again, the contrast on the sky and in the whole image, which is quite important in this case. So I just increased it a little bit. And then once again, we can darken the shadows. I almost want the mountains and the water here in the foreground to uh, be combined or merged together. I don't really need to see the line between them. So I'm going to make it really dark, something like that. And that really emphasizes the difference between the sky and the ground. So once again, uh, let me show you before and after. So this was before and this is after. Before and after. So as you can see, it's not a radical change, but still by only changing uh, the shadows and the clarity, we made the image look much better. So this was before and after. You can always use highlights, whites and blacks as well if you want to uh, change details in the image. If I want to go a bit further, I can also use the blacks to completely make the bottom part dark. So now you don't see any detail of the water when the water meets the ground or this um, land. Now it's completely dark at the bottom. And let's just see it before and after. So this was before and after or all the way before and after. So now it's even more radical. We added more drama, but still we haven't played around with the colors. In the next video, I'm going to go a little bit further and add the extra drama by changing the colors of the sunsets. 